Dear students, I am Bharat Kashyap, lecturer Biology, RGSSS, Majwad, District Mandi. Today, we are going to study the second chapter of Biology, Biological Classification and today's topic is Kingdom Protista. So let's begin with Kingdom Protista. It includes all single-celled eukaryotes with well-defined nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. These are divided into following groups. Chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds and protozoans. The members of protista are primarily aquatic. Some members have flagella and cilia. Protists reproduce asexually by binary fission, multiple fission and budding. They reproduce sexually by a process involving cell fusion and zygote formation. The protists are first eukaryotes thus forms a link between monera and plants, animals and fungi. Chrysophytes These are the diatoms and these golden alga. This group includes diatoms and golden algae also known as decimates. They are microscopic photosynthetic and float passively in fresh as well as in marine water. As they float passively with water currents, they are called planktons. Diatoms are the chief producer in the oceans and prepare food from water and sunlight by the process of photosynthesis. Now diatoms, they have cell walls which form two thin overlapping shells which fit together like a soap box. Silica is embedded in their walls which make these indestructible. Diatomaceous earth, the large cell wall deposits left by diatoms gets accumulated in oceans over billions of years is called diatomaceous earth. Being gritty, this soil is used in polishing, filtration of oils and syrups. Dinoflagellates These organisms are mostly marine and photosynthetic. They are yellow, green, brown, blue or red due to the pigments present in their cells. The cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on the outer surface. Most of them have two flagella, one longitudinal and other transverse in a furrow between the plates. You can look these in diagrams. Now, red tides. Very often in oceans, red dinoflagellates like goniolex undergo rapid multiplication and make the sea appear red called red tides. Toxins released by them may even kill other marine animals such as fishes. Euglenoids. Majority of them are freshwater organisms found in stagnant water. Instead of a cell wall, they have a protein rich layer called pellicle which makes their body flexible. They have two flagella, a short and a long. In presence of sunlight, they are green and photosynthetic that is they have autotrophic mode of nutrition 
when deprived of sunlight they become non green and switch over to heterotrophic mode of nutrition by predating on other smaller organisms the photosynthetic pigments of euglenoids are identical to those present in higher plants for example euglena next is slime molds these are saprophytic their body moves along decaying twigs and leaves engulfing organic material under suitable conditions they form an aggregation of cells called plasmodium which may grow and spread over several feet in favorable conditions the plasmodium forms fruiting bodies bearing spores with true walls they are extremely resistant and survive for many years even under adverse conditions now protozoans these are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasites they are divided into four major groups first one are amoeboid protozoans look at the diagram of amoeba these live in fresh water sea water or moist soils they move and capture their prey by pseudopodia as you are looking in diagram of amoeba marine forms have silica shells on their surface some are parasites for example ant amoeba which cause amoebic dysentery in humans next are flagellated protozoans these are either free living or parasitic they have flagella the parasitic forms may cause diseases like sleeping sickness for example trypanosoma look at the diagrams in first diagram trypanosoma in human blood and in second diagram it is the trypanosoma parasite and last one is sporozoans these organisms have an infectious spore like stage in their life cycle the most notorious among these sporozoans is plasmodium vivax the malarial parasite which causes malaria its various stages of life cycle which are visible in humans are shown in diagram this is trophozoite mature ring form then cyzoont etc so with this we complete the study of kingdom protista thanks for watching